Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to use color widgets in iOS 14 and basically how to add custom color widget to your phones on iOS 14. It's actually very, very easy to do. All you want to do is you, want, you guys want to go over to the App Store and you just want to download this app called Color Widgets. So it's just this one right here that you guys see on the top of my screen. You just want to go ahead and download that. Once you have that downloaded, you can exit out of your App Store and you just want to go over to it and open it up. Once it's open here, you just want to find a widget that you like. So just scroll through all your options here and just find one that you would like to use. So I'm just going to click on a random one here. Let's just say this white one right here. So just click on the one that you like and then you want to click on set widget. Uh, once you're done that, you can exit out of this application. And what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to long press on any application and then just click on edit home screen. Once you have edit home screen clicked, all your, your apps will shake around on your screen. That's how you know that it's working. You can go over to the top left and click on the little plus icon. And this will show you all the widgets that you have uh, that you can create. All you want to do is scroll down and just find the widget that we just created. So as you guys see right here, we have the widget we just created. We can go ahead and click on that. And then if we click on here and just scroll through, we have a different option for sizing. So for example, this is the one that we've seen in the application. So I'll go ahead and click on add widget on that one. And as you guys see, it then adds the widget to the top of our screen. We could then scroll through all of our pages of apps and move it around wherever we want to put it. Once you have the place that you want, you can just click on done and then you are then good to go. I really hope I was able to help you guys out with showing you guys how to use the custom color widgets on iOS 14 and how to create one. If this was helpful to you, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.